Hey everybody, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today, guys, I'm so excited to bring you uh, my Ant Miner L3 Plus by Bitmain review. We're going to be taking a look at my L3 Plus uh, mining army and what the current profitability is, how much energy they consume, and what overclocks I'm using, and how many mega hash it's getting me. And today, also, I wanted to announce I'm so excited that we're gonna be doing a giveaway for two Antminer Z9 Minis. And these, uh, we'll be talking about this throughout the video. Um, also guys, I'm wearing today a, another piece of Mining Chamber merch. I think my favorite design out of all the merch. This is a Choose Your GPU hoodie. And it has, it's made of a really nice material. It's not like a sweatshirt material, more like a um, sort of stretchy material as well. And I really like the different uh, graphics cards. It looks like here is a Radeon 7. This looks like could be uh, MSI RX 580. And here this could be MSI RX 5700. And maybe a 1660 Ti here, Super by MSI as well. And yeah, I would definitely choose the Radeon 7 as well as this is the best out of any of these uh, graphics cards. But I, I think it's a hilarious design and I really enjoy it. So without any further ado, guys, let's take a look. So now we are taking a look at my, these are actually 13 Ant Miner L3 Pluses. And they're stacked here, as you can see, three per row, four rows. That would give me 12 Ant Miner L3 Pluses. And here we can see one more running on this little table I've got running here. And I just ran out of room on that rack for it. And I didn't want to place it any higher because the higher we go in the room, the hotter it is. And it's summertime right now. And I mean, these at minor L3s are all running at 100% fan speeds. And they're consuming a little bit extra uh, power just to cool themselves because it's so hot in that room right now. And um, I mean, we are right now in what I like to refer to as my mining chamber. And uh, this is a dedication to a mining chamber. And I'm going to be putting a um, link to his channel down below. So if you guys are not already, already subscribed to Mining Chamber, go check him out. He is an awesome YouTuber. And guys, this is, uh, this is wild for me to have actually 13 of these uh, running all at once here. And we're going to be going to uh, check out the other two at minor L3 pluses I have running in a different room. So here we are in my other ASIC mining area, and here are the final two at minor L3 pluses I have running here, and they're running basically flawlessly in such a hot environment in about 110, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. These guys are absolutely running flawlessly and they are not crashing. They do consume, uh, as we were saying, a tiny bit more power, maybe another 100 watts by running the fan on full power. But I mean, this is like, uh, these are incredible miners and I really love them. So here we are in my nice hash account. And uh, as we can see here, uh, my current profitability right now is $167.73 per day. And this is live. Uh, for my 15, oh, there we go. It actually just updated to now $170.83 a day. And this, this goes up and down quite a bit daily. I've seen the highest about $300 a day and at the lowest about $130, $140 a day. Uh, this has been going wild, guys. And this is for my 15 Ant Miner L3 uh, rigs 
And I mean, this is just incredible profit, guys. And this is not counting my electricity, so we're gonna go take a look at that. So now we're taking a look at the power consumption of one Ant Miner L3 Plus that I have plugged into this power meter. And as we can see here, we're getting about 1196, 97 watts. It sort of bounces around 1194, 95. And I mean, as we were saying, I mean, we are actually using quite a bit more electricity than normal because the fans are running at max 100% capacity. And when I had them running at a very low uh, rate, I mean, we were saving, I think it was around 100 watts. And I'm aware that there is some uh, custom firmware going around uh, to reduce the wattage um, while maintaining the same current hash rate. So... I mean, I may do something like that in the future, but once I did that on my on some other ant miners, and it basically allowed a backdoor for hackers to enter my network and take over temporarily my mining profits. So I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it to do that. So now we'll take a quick look at the profitability. And as we saw before, we we're doing about $170 a day right now. And we multiply that by 30 days in a month. I know some days have 31, but we'll take a more conservative estimate. And we're doing about $5,100 a month right now with the 15 at minor L3 pluses. And now we're just gonna go calculate how much electricity we're actually using and spending. So we're gonna put in a power consumption here. We saw 1197 watts, and this is being used 24 hours a day and the energy it consumes is this and my electricity is actually pretty low so we're going to put a seven cent electric rate in there and so it's consuming about sixty dollars per month for each of the at miners so we have to multiply that sixty dollars a month times 15 at miners and that's consuming about 900 bucks a month but as we saw before we're actually taking in $5,100 a month, and then we're gonna subtract our 900. So the net profit right now is about $4,200 a month for these 15 units. And I mean, that's absolutely incredible, guys, especially with the, the cost and the price uh, that the Ant, 3, uh, the Ant Miner L3s were going for. I picked up some at some incredible steals here. So I mean, we, uh, <laughs> We're doing really well with these, and this is a, actually a pretty significant portion of my mining profits every month. So now we'll talk about what overclock and frequency settings I'm using. So over here, as you can see, I've been testing about 450 to 462 frequency, and I've been achieving about 600 uh, mega hash per miner, and um, I mean, Actually, I went to go test when the miner is in a cold environment, we can actually achieve about 900 watts. So we're pulling uh, at least 152 to 300 watts extra by keeping it in such a hot environment. But I mean, I have no choice. It's summertime and I can't have 15 L3 plus miners running inside my house right now. So they have to go to my mining location. And um, we'll just pull this other image up here. This is how you get to the advanced settings. So you go click on the minor configuration tab once you're inside the minor, and then you'll go over and click on the advanced settings, and then you'll have a drop down menu here so you can select the frequency. So again, I've been using uh, about 462 here, and I'll put that number down in the description below. But I mean, each miner is a little bit different. Uh, there is something called the silicon lottery, so each one will perform slightly differently uh, within certain norms. So uh, it's about 450 to 462 will give you the optimal hash rate uh, for your miner. I'm really happy today because I get to announce the latest giveaway on the Brandcoin channel here. And uh, we're going to be giving away two of these Ant Miner Z9 Minis. And I've got one right here to uh, show you guys. Um, gorgeous, tiny little ASICs to play around with. And it's really like the perfect uh, first at home ASIC uh, for somebody to uh, experiment with. And um, they were selling for about $350 US. And I know I've seen them tick down on eBay recently. Uh, they're selling for a little bit less on eBay. 
and uh, that's because they were doing about two dollars uh, US a day before paying the electric uh, cost on uh, pirate coin which uh, the ticker is R and that's ticked down quite a bit uh, due to the crypto market falling but that could easily return and uh, I think people are still picking these up um, on the assumption that uh, the crypto market will pop back uh, eventually sometime this summer or after the summer uh, whenever that may be so in order to enter the giveaway you have to be a subscriber to the brand coin channel and you have to comment down below on this video uh, hashtag antminer z9 mini and then I'll be giving uh, further instructions in the following next video um, about this in order how to, how the winners are going to get in contact with me and I'm going to also be including uh, shipping for free anywhere in the world you guys live for these um, units. And um, I mean, I have them overclocked to about 13 to 14,000 hashes per second. And they're only doing about 320 to 330 watts at the wall. So I mean, still cute miner. Uh, if you guys also want, you could just go flip it, resell it, throw it up on eBay or in your local marketplace and definitely make a few hundred bucks. So, uh, I mean, this is super exciting, guys, and I can't wait to give these to a couple of deserving people in the mining community. So, everyone, don't forget to go smash that like button and we'll see you all soon in the next Brand Coin episode.